And I would like to take a moment to welcome Councillor Jay Robinson to today's meeting and invite the Councillor to say a few words at this time. Councillor Robinson. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Um, I have to share with my colleagues in all of Toronto that I can't tell you how happy I am to be here today. As many of you know, I was able to participate last week in the TTC board meeting, uh, my first official public meeting since my diagnosis. And I have to tell you, it feels so great to be back. I feel very fortunate to be joining you this morning. Uh, there's, there's, um, there's no sugarcoating cancer. In Canada, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. In 2020 alone, 27,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in Canada. And I, like many, was completely blindsided by this diagnosis. It's a very important for me, it was very important for me to know that I was not alone in this battle. And I want all women grappling with this devastating diagnosis and resulting debilitating side effects to know that they're not alone. Thank you to the many, many people who wrote, emailed and phoned me to share their stories and experiences from across the whole city. I can't tell you how much of an impact you had on me and my recovery. I have just recently completed my final chemotherapy the culmination of more than one year of non-stop treatment, including four months of chemotherapy, surgery, and two months of radiation, followed by another six months of chemotherapy. It has been a long road and a difficult road to get here. Uh, while it was very frightening, um, it was probably one of the most frightening experiences of my life. Uh, I feel very lucky that I was able to receive treatment throughout COVID. I am very, very fortunate and I realize that. I had a fantastic team caring for me at the Odette Cancer Center at Sunnybrook Hospital, who after surgery, thankfully discovered that I actually had two different types of breast cancer, which would require six more months of chemo. So I really, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank the dedicated doctors, nurses, technicians, medical staff, who are continuing to treat patients throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as my stellar all-female team of doctors, Dr. Wright, Dr. Eisen, and Dr. Rakovic, who provided exceptional care for me throughout this process. While I continued to work as much as I could over the past year, I would not have been able to do this without the support of my phenomenal team. Rachel Van Frossen, my chief of staff, Rachel Hillier, Leslie Burley, and Alicia Archibald, thank you for stepping up. Thanks for your hard work. The Residence Award 15 Don Valley West continue to have excellent and consistent service. I'd like to thank everyone in the virtual council chamber. I really focused on getting back in my council chair. And uh, I wanna thank you all for your support during this difficult time to my colleagues on city council and to Mayor John Tory. Thank you for your continued support and your frequent well wishes. I wanna say a special thanks to Mayor Tory for a lot of advice, but uh, the best advice he gave me is take it one day at a time and I live by that. That's the only way I got through. To city staff, thank you for your thoughtful, thoughtful gestures and all your efforts to help my team and I serve the Ward 15 through this challenging period. And to the residents of Ward 15, Don Valley West, it is the highest honor of my life to serve you. I will never forget the outpouring of support I received from you throughout my treatment. Your incredibly kind words and generous deeds helped my family and I through very dark days. Thank you for your unwavering support, your patience, your understanding and your encouragement. These are challenging times for all of us, but with everything from new community-based 
food banks to informal neighborhood groups delivering groceries and essential items to their neighbors. It has been inspiring to see the residents of Ward 15 and the entire city come together to support our community over the course of this pandemic. While we are in the midst of one of the darkest periods in our Toronto's history, I know we are going to emerge on the other side stronger and better than ever. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor Robinson. And welcome back. I would now thank you. Um, I